Hello YouTube and today I'm going to be doing a video on um, something that uh, my friend at school was asking me about how to do in Blender and that is like 3D text but a camera zooming into the 3D text. Now this is obviously going to be an animation, this is with uh, the 2.5 beta, 2.55 to be exact, most modern version, you can get it from blender.org or graphic, I think it's graphical.org as well. Yeah, it's so you can get it from either of those two sites. So um yeah we're gonna start by pressing five on the uh numpad. You can either go view and go perspective orthographic. It just needs to be orthographic. Who well, doesn't need to be, but I like orthographic. Uh go view front or numpad one. We're gonna delete the default cube, we're gonna shift A, add text. Um, okay, press zero to go into camera mode. Since we're going to be doing all this from the camera, it makes sense to do it from to go to the camera mode while we're here. So we're going to press rotate R X ninety R Z ninety maybe not R Z forty five. Yeah, okay. Now I'm going to press G. Now you may be wondering how you actually edit the text. You just have to tab into edit mode and say press backspace and delete the text and now what do we want? Um let's write test. Yeah, I'm not very original. So just test. And as you see there's test there. But you will see that it's not a very 3D. So what we're going to do is go over here to modifiers, add modifier, uh, solidify. Now I'm going to ramp this up. Yeah, it looks like a fair thickness. I mean, you just got to ramp it up or down depending on where you want it. But I'm happy with that. I'm also going to add modifier subdivision surface. Or not scratch it, don't have subdivision surface, it ruins it. Okay, over here, we're under, in the uh, object data tab, when you got text selected, I believe you can change the font type. I know I haven't tried. I actually don't know how to go about doing that. Or you can size it up there, go back to a 1 on that. I guess that makes italics. Okay, that seems to be doing nothing. Anyway. So we have our text. I'm just going to rotate on the Y, Y, no. Rotate on the X, Z, Z, nope. Rotate on the X, X, okay. Rotate on the X, X axis. This rotates it on the, the local X axis. It's going to press G, so the test is there. And now I am going to press I and go. This is why I have the the um, text selected. Um, I'm going to press I. Oh my god, don't give a crap about freaking performance. Okay, press I. Lock rot scale. This um, adds a keyframe for location, rotation, and scale. Let's just go lock rot scale. Now I'm gonna skip forward to say frame. Uh, let's say 50. Now I'm going to select. You know what? I just messed things up. Okay, go back to frame one and press I lock what scale when you have the camera selected. Yeah. Okay, now I go to frame fifty and grab the camera by pressing G, clicking the middle mouse button, and scrolling in like so. Just trying to get a good
like that. I look right scale. So let's go back to frame one. As you see, it will go in like so. I'm actually going to move the text over a bit so the camera goes in a little better. Okay, it didn't do much. But yeah, change this to frame and at frame 50. Okay, so let's go back to frame one. Now, let's save this. Uh, save this to Blender things, save files, why not? And do um, 3D text zoom. Just save that. And now I'm going to um, you know I don't even have to render animation, I can just press Alt A and it will play. Now you see that's a little boring. So I'm going to do to this um, test is add colors on it so it will change over time. So on frame one, go over to the materials tab, go new. We're going to make this... Uh, let's actually try something different. I'm going to go from uh, white, 0 0.8. So I'm going to go pure white, as white as we'll go. Which is the exact same. Anyway, I want to go from that. Now just go over to the diffuse, press I, and this will implement a keyframe. Now at frame 1, this will be white. Now I'm going to skip to frame 50 and change this to black. And now I want to press I again. So let's view this from the start, shall we? As you see, it starts to get black, but since the camera is still zooming in, And, um, yeah, I just want to check out, uh, let me, um, go to frame 25, I'm just going to render out an image, let's change the background color, uh, I'm going to go blend sky, horizon, uh, let's go a light blue probably get a lighter than that but hey who gives a crap right and I want to go to a yellow not a grit looking green oh actually yeah that, that that would do and this is all in the world tab under world here I'm just gonna save let's render image out now Mmm, bit too much yellow. So let's just make that darker blue. That's better. So uh, there's te there's the text. Now I'm gonna save this quickly, and I am going to render this into a video file. So I'm gonna go down to output. Click here change this to desktop, name it, I was just going to be told test 3D text zoom in, I guess that will do, dot avi. Now you're going to go down here to this, uh, the way you, this format button here, and I'm going to go avi codec. Or, no, I'm going to go MBEG. But I'd say there's a few different options here. I mainly use the movie options, but you can use image ones. But J -ch JPEG and PNG are the main ones there. MPEG, XVID, um, AVI Codec, and AVI JPEG are probably the main ones you want to use. But you can use all of them. So once you have what you want selected, uh, just save this quickly. Just go
go render animation and I don't want this tutorial to keep going on but I'll show you quickly what should come up on the desktop and there you go it has a uh, what's the word placeholder for the um, video file so I'm going to pause this and come back when it's finished okay um, we're back and as you see um, it's at frame 50 and it's finished so I'm just going to minimize that down double click on the video file that's on the desktop and hope it works okay it's ish it actually be about two seconds so it's going to be a little fast and as you see it was very 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 fast let's put that right and um yeah that is just how you make like text kind of zoom in to you um, I guess you can make credits with that if you wanted to wouldn't be hard say do Star Wars credits or any other fancy credits do some explosions or I don't know just whatever but that is the uh, basic um, text tutorial I will probably make a video on how to like a better video on how to export it into a video file. Uh thanks for watching and bye.